Just what did you see from um, your offense and, and, and especially Jalen and his ability to kind of uh, work with a limited clock uh, against Vanderbilt? I think, um, <clears throat> you know, the message for the players is anytime you don't win, you didn't do well enough, you know. And so, you know, our job as an offense is to score one more point than the opponent. And we didn't do that, you know, this past Saturday. And so I'm um, collectively very disappointed in that. Um, we got to take advantage of the opportunities that we do get and capitalize on those. And we had, you know, more than enough opportunities to um, score more points. And uh, we weren't able to do that. So, um, you know, there are a lot of plays that, you know, you're proud of, that the guys did a nice job and executed. Um, but certainly we fell short, you know, in, in finding a way to win the game. Emily Grace. Coach, how much did your game management slash plan get affected when the defense was unable to get off the field? Um, I think, you know, that's our job just to take advantage of the opportunities we get. And, um, you know, the possessions where we didn't execute, you know, they were very costly in the game. And um, you can't turn the football over. You have to flip the field when you're backed up. And we weren't able to do that in those moments. And, you know, that was ultimately the difference in the game. And so, you know, those are the areas that we need to do a better job of, um, of maintaining the execution throughout the course of the game. And, um, and we're working, you know, tirelessly to, to solve those issues. Go to Matt. Yeah, oh, just what did they do well to limit Jalen's kind of rushing ability in that game? Um, we didn't run him as much. You know, I would say just, um, you know, he had the one touchdown run in the red area. Um, and just kind of how the flow of the game went, um, you know, some of the different things that we did, um, the ball just went to other people. And so um, that's just kind of how the flow of the game went and kind of um, the plays that we called and the plays that we were executing, um, they weren't necessarily um, designed for him to, to run. There was a couple of them that he popped through there. Um, and, and the other ones were more, you know, kind of off schedule scramble type situations. So um, there weren't that many opportunities for him to run. And we didn't, you know, call as many as maybe we've had throughout the, you know, course of a game. But um, that's just kind of how the game unfolded. What went into Gino coming into the game at right guard, and, and how do you think he played? Um, I just kind of echoed just um, what I said earlier. You know, anytime you don't win, nobody played good enough, nobody coached good enough. And I'm not saying specifically Gino. I just think collectively as a whole, you know, you take accountability. Um, we're going to continue to put the players in the game that deserve to play, that have earned that in practice, um, to try to maximize the group. And um, there's different reasons for that. Um, and uh, and that's why. And so we thought Gino deserved an opportunity to play. And so um, he went in there and and like the rest of the group did some nice things, but obviously not good enough collectively. Coach, when the clock hit zero for the loss, what have you seen since then with some of your leaders on the offense side of the ball to kind of step up in a hard time after this loss to Vanderbilt? Well, we'll see tomorrow more specifically. You know, obviously we had a chance to be around the players yesterday and, and um, on the trip back and early impressions where they were outstanding. Um, you know, and I think it reveals the character of who they are, which is excellent. Um, and certainly, um, you know, the week of prep will continue to give them opportunities to lead in the way that I know that, that they will. And so I fully expect them to um, uh, respond and, um, you know, continue to improve, learn from the errors and the mistakes, and uh, move forward and be excited about competing this Saturday. Jump to the left side, Steve. Coach, there was an early you know, pick six in that ball game, but when Jalen came to the side, nah, what was his demeanor like as you were talking to him, him talking to you, trying to flush that and move on? Well, I was up in the box, so obviously I didn't see him face to face, but certainly there was communication, and um, he was great. He was you know, able to be 1 0 and move forward, and um, you know, it was the third play of the game. There was a lot of football left. Um, I'm pretty sure we were able to respond and score a touchdown the next drive, if I remember correctly. So I thought his response was great, and uh, he kept playing, um, and um, and you know executed and did his job. So I didn't think that impacted him at all. Let's go to Alex in the West Middle. Um, just philosophically, how do you think about time of possession? If that's a stat you even concern yourself with, and, and on the flip side of that, um, what do you think is holding back? The, the running game specific to Haynes and Miller from having maybe more consistent success? I think the game Saturday was a little bit unique that, that way relative to running the football. You know, we did put ourselves in a hole early and, um, 
you know, we were playing a little bit of catch up throughout the game. And so we didn't get as many opportunities to run the football as maybe we were anticipating. Um, um, because I do think that there were some moments where we ran the ball well, you know, and Jam had some good runs and um, Justice had some good runs. It just kind of was the course of the game and how it was going. And so, um, you know, I think that's a point of emphasis to be more um, efficient and effective running the football. Um, but I also know that, you know, you have to do whatever's required in the game to try to score points and win. And each game can kind of unfold, you know, a different way. And that's just kind of how the game went, you know, on Saturday. So. Time for a couple more questions. Start on the left side of Colin. Hey Nick, uh, how would you assess kind of um, the progress over the uh, that Jam Miller, Justin Haynes have made over the over the course of the first five games? How have they helped your offense? Would you like? Um, how do they kind of complement what Jalen Miller in the past game is doing through the first five? I think they've both been effective um, and and super helpful in our offense, and I know that that will continue to be the case. It's a long season. Um, there's lots of football to to still be had and. You know, obviously, you know, they both have had some great moments and found the end zone and helped us. Um, there's no doubt. And I also think they're doing a great job without the ball as well. You know, some of the perimeter runs that they're involved in blocking, they've been outstanding. Some of the blitz pickup and their eye discipline has been outstanding. And so um, those are two great players. And, um, you know, their attitude's been great. Their work ethic's been great. And I know they're going to keep, you know, improving and taking advantage of the opportunities that they get. Um, and so we're happy with where they're at. And, and just like I mentioned, you know, with everybody else, you know, nobody did well enough, you know. And, um, and so I know for everybody, you know, not just those guys, but every position, every coach knows that you got to do better, you know, and find a way to win. And so that's kind of been the message. And I would just say yes about time of possession. I didn't answer that. You know, I think um, ultimately, um, you know, you want to be in control of the game and you do that by executing and getting first downs. And so um, I think some of the, the you know, lopsidedness relative to that was the four possessions where we didn't execute. You know, that would have allowed us to have more opportunities, more plays, and more time of possession. So um, you know, I think at the end of the day, you, know, you want to be in control of the game. You know, if you score fast, that's part of it. You know, you're not going to stop the guys from doing that. We've had a lot of short scoring drives this season, which sometimes you know, can um, you know, sway the clock one way or the other. Um, but I, I certainly think you want to be in control of the game and be able to execute and get first downs. All right, thank you, Coach. Okay, thanks. Roll Tide.